Okay, so before getting started, I just wanted to let you know that all of Dr. Winston's videos will be coming from his books, with the majority of his content coming from the book that Microsoft asked him to write. His 2019 Data Analysis and Business Modeling book. This is Microsoft's best-selling Excel book in the world, and you can see here, based on the reviews, that it's an extremely popular book. Dr. Winston's Marketing Analytics book covers all things marketing analytics and has been one of the best-selling books on the topics, as you can see here also by the 105 reviews. Finally, his Analytics Stories book covers real-world problems and he solves them using Excel. It is his newest book, but has perfect reviews thus far. So why am I telling you all of this? First of all, if you just watch all of the content, you will be getting a world-class education. Dr. Winston created the Excel course for Harvard, and virtually every business school in the world uses his books. If you go into the description below, there will be links to download the before and the after Excel files. No email is required, they're direct download links, and downloading the file will help you follow along. Also, if you like the content, then like, comment, and subscribe. This will help you be notified in the future, and it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. It'll help students like you to see new content. Finally, please ask questions. Just leave a comment with your questions and we'll try to help answer. We really want you to learn and understand the content of these videos. With all that being said, let's get started. So in the last video, we showed you how to use the forecast sheet feature, data forecast sheet, to make forecast for basically seasonal data. It doesn't have to be seasonal data. Walmart quarterly revenues. We just selected what we wanted to use to create the forecast and what we wanted to forecast, and we got all the information in a separate sheet. But you don't need that separate sheet if you don't want it. You can use these functions we briefly, dis briefly discussed in the last video to create your forecast and your lower confidence interval bound and upper confidence interval bound. So here's, the, here's how that works. So basically we're going to use everything through 2008. Let's forecast the first quarter of 2009. So it's forecast ETS. I'm not sure what that stands for, but you want to forecast for this date. That's in column E. Use the values through row 64 dollar sign so you can copy it down and then use the dates through row 64 and then the one in one let's show you the one means let excel figure out the seasonality here you could put four because it's quarterly and then tell excel how to handle missing values you could use interpolation which i think makes the most sense but basically that's what you would put in and if you copy that down you'll get the forecast see right here it's going to say forecast for the date in this row row 69 but use the same data you could make it go through the most recent date. In other words, this could go through row 68. That would make a lot of sense. Now, for the here's the formula right here. Now, for the lower confidence interval, you take the forecast and subtract off the width of the confidence interval. Really, you have the same arguments as you had before, but you put in a 95 percentile. So that would look like this. So the target dates in row 65, March first quarter 2009. Use everything through row 64, 95 percent confidence interval and that'll give you the half width and then you just change there's the formula and just change the minus to a plus and you get the upper confidence interval of it so you can do it either way you want i mean i think if you get good at this the functions are sort of better because you can make it uh, basically through this date you forecast using all the data up to that point through this date all the data through second quarter 2009 etc but this stuff is really neat and basically, I've test, it's really good at forecasting revenues. I mean, that's the main thing I've tested it on. I can't vouch for it on every time series you'll ever find. So thanks for watching. We really hope you're enjoying our Excel videos. And over the next several years, we'll be releasing our complete library of Excel training onto our YouTube channel. But if you don't want to wait for years, then I wanted to talk to you a bit about the master course Dr. Winston has created. It's his life's work, and I wanted to talk to you about the benefits that you can receive from enrolling. The first thing is lifetime access. And lifetime access doesn't just mean you'll have a login forever. It means that you'll get to have access to all of the new content that Dr. Winston creates. 
So even though the course currently has more than 800 videos, Dr. Winston creates new content all the time. As Excel or as Microsoft, you know, creates new functions and new functionality in Excel, Dr. Winston will create content that you will have access to. And you will also have access to all the new spreadsheets and all of the new videos that Dr. Winston creates. And what this will do is this will help you stay up to date with Excel. Next is there's a 60 day money back guarantee. Right, this guarantee is a no questions asked guarantee. So if at any time within the first 60 days you're not completely satisfied, I will personally refund your money. You can email me, ryan at excelwithwayne.com. Also, there's a 50 question exam that you can take upon completion of the course. This will test how well you're retaining the knowledge of the videos. And if you pass that test with 70% or greater, then you'll get a certificate of completion. And the certificate looks like this. And if you look in the bottom left, once you receive a certificate, you can have a job recruiter or an HR manager. They can email us. They can email Dr. Winston, Wayne at ExcelWithWayne.com, and he will verify that you did, in fact, complete our course. The challenge with Excel courses is that there's no support, right? Normally you purchase the course and then you're on your own. But what if you have any questions? What if you don't understand things? And the benefit of our private Facebook group is that you don't just have to ask questions about our course. You can ask questions about your day-to-day -day Excel questions. Our group is called the Excel Mastermind, and you can see here there's more than 1,700 members that are more than happy to answer your questions. And this group is also only for students of Dr. Winston's. So you're going to have very, very, um, you know, intelligent students, people that have invested in themselves, helping you answer your questions, as well as us. We also monitor the group. So as mentioned before, there's more than 800 videos in the course. There are currently, I believe, 811 videos. But going forward, we're always creating new content. And along with those videos, there's more than 1,500 downloadable Excel files. And the benefit of the, of the downloadable files is that you get the before and the after file. And the benefit of having the after file is that you can uh, follow along, right? And so all the formulas that Dr. Winston creates, you'll have in, you, you'll be able to download them. Currently, there's more than 75 hours of content. But again, going forward, Dr. Winston creates new, you know, new videos all the time. And so that number is going to keep on increasing. So real quick, let's just talk about some of the issues with online training and specifically online Excel training. The first one, as mentioned before, is there's no support, right? Like what happens if you have a question? What happens if you don't understand something about the course? Or, you know, what happens if you don't understand something in your day-to-day -day task? Because no matter what Excel course you purchase, they're not going to solve your exact problem, right? Because you're setting up your spreadsheet, you're in your own way and things like that. So again, we solve that problem with our, our private Facebook group. So you can see it here again, the Excel Mastermind group. You can go to it. You won't be able to access it until you become a student, but you can go and you can sort of see, I mean, this is a real group on Facebook. The next issue, which is a pretty big issue with Excel, is that once you purchase most courses, actually all courses that I know of, they're not up to date. And what do I mean by not up to date? So Microsoft in the past two years, in really in the past six months, but let's use the past two years, they've really, really updated Excel and they've added a ton of new functions and a ton of new functionality. And so if the courses are not adding new content as Excel or as Microsoft is releasing content, then you're really going to be left behind. So as you can see here, these are just a few of the functions that Microsoft has recently released. The MinFS, the MaxFS, XLOOKUP, which is probably the number one new function in Excel because it replaces the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP and the index match. Um, the unique function, the filter function, sort, stock history, and then stock data types, geography data types, switch, ifs, etc. There's new charting functionality. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so again, if you're purchasing a course that is not staying up to date, then, then you're really going to be left behind. And what I mean by left behind is that you're not going to be as efficient in your spreadsheet tasks that you could be. Finally, it's the quality of the professor. And so this is where I want to talk a little bit about Dr. Winston. So the first thing you could do is just go over to Google and type in Wayne Winston. And you can see over here on the right side his Wikipedia page. You can see he went to MIT. You can see some of the books he made. You can go to Amazon or you can go to, you know, Kelly, which is the Indian, which is the, the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. 
You can go to his LinkedIn page. I mean, there, there's a lot of places you can go to just to see about Dr. Winston. Who is he? Um, another thing you could do is you could search for his books. You know, just go to Wayne Winston Books and look at images. But you can, again, you can see Microsoft's book 2019, 2016, 2010. I believe it goes back all the way to 2003, but I'm not 100%. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but not 100% on that. So the main book that Dr. Winston uh, has written is his 2019 book. Um, when I say the main book, it's the most popular book. I mean, all of his books are, are very popular, but this is his most popular one, as you can see here, based on the reviews. And this is the book that Microsoft has asked Dr. Winston to write. And this is Microsoft's best-selling Excel book on the topic. Um, his second popular book is called Marketing Analytics. And you can see, again, there's very good reviews on this. Um, you can go to Amazon and you can see the reviews. And I would say go to Amazon and look at the bad reviews because the bad reviews are talking about the shipping, like the book was, was messed up in shipping or um, it doesn't include the downloadable files, but it actually does. Um, they just didn't know how to find it. But this book covers all things marketing analytics. And his other book here is Analytics Stories. And this is a very interesting book because what Dr. Winston does with this is he solves real world problems using Excel and using analytics to show you know some some interesting things that have happened historically and proving them you know with with excel and with statistics in excel so instead of talking about the books that dr winston has written maybe the best thing to do since excel is a business tool the number one business tool in the world what about business schools you know very popular business schools like so who trust him like what are the top business schools in the world so let's let's go to the first one you know which would be Harvard here and what you can see is they asked him to create their course um, you can see on the one two three the fourth link you can see that in 2013 that is the spreadsheet course I do believe there is a 2016 course but I'm not a hundred percent and so yeah they're, they're using his books you know mathematics for management um, they're using his data analysis books in his courses and things like that so Harvard's using them, but let's let's just look at some other schools, right? So the next one would be MIT, and you can see the syllabus of MIT is using his operations research book. You can see um, MIT OpenCourseWare is using his stuff, um, and the list goes on and on. But let's keep going. Let, let's not stop there, right? So Stanford, Stanford is using his stuff, and I'm going to go a little bit faster just because there are a lot of universities here. So Stanford. Right, you can see the, uh, Wharton, which is a really popular finance school. If you're not familiar with it, has used this stuff at least you know a couple years ago they did. And then you have Columbia in New York is using his books. NYU also in New York is using his material. You could go to Yale. And here's an interesting one because this is IIT, which is in India, and it's the number one school in India. It's apparently the hardest university in the world to get into because like everybody applies to it and has a very, very low um, acceptance rate. But again, you can see they're using his book. And also here, this is the, the Indian Institute of Management, which is the number one business school in India. And you can see, again, they're all using his content. And this is a school in China. It's SIEBS. And this is uh, the number one business school in Asia, I believe. Um, and they're also using his content. And then finally in Europe, uh, INSEAD, which I am not 100%, I think it's in Switzerland, um, I could be wrong, but again, they are all using his book. So essentially the number one business school in every country is using his book. In America, the number, the top 10 or top five are using his books. Um, and so Excel is a business software, business schools are using his content, and so they all trust him. Right. And, and the biggest sign of trust is that they're using his materials to teach their professors how to, you know, teach the subject of Excel. Right. And also advanced, you know, analytics. Um, also sort of on the, on, you know, just like a, a fun note about Dr. Winston is that uh, he was also a two time Jeopardy champion. Um, and you can Google that. You can go to YouTube and you can watch him answer the questions. It, it's actually pretty funny. And so in his courses he does you know add a lot of trivia and that's um sort of makes it a little bit fun because we all know it's excel right like how fun can excel really be so yeah so that's you know some of the things i wanted to talk to you about um if you have any questions um just let us know but if you did want to go and you wanted to invest in yourself then you could go to excelwithlane.com slash course and also when you get to the site if you just scroll down a bit then you can see the syllabus here and if you click on any of those syllabi, 
you will then be able to see the exact materials in um, you know in that course because because I'll go back one here but the you're not just getting one course you're getting four courses the complete the top left one here the complete Microsoft Excel course that is from his book that he's been writing for Microsoft and the marketing analytics book is from his marketing analytics book or sorry his marketing analytics course is from his marketing analytics book and then his analytics stories course is from his analytics stories book and then um, the money Carlo simulation with uh, Palisades that is a very advanced course and you would need the at risk you, you get the course but you would need at risk the the add-in to uh, to be able to, to follow along to that I mean you could still of course watch the videos it's just to follow along you need to purchase the add-in it doesn't it is not included in the course but again if you click on any of the the syllabi there you would see something like this and then if you click you know the the plus sign on any of the chapters you would see every video that is included inside of that so let's talk about the, the price of the course right so with dr. Winston well, let, let's step back so let's talk about the price of an MBA so this is where Dr. Winston teaches, and if you were to purchase this course, it's the equivalent of probably four MBA courses, and I can tell you this because I'm an MBA alumni of Dr. Winston's, um, and this is where he taught. He's retired, but you can see the prices here, and the, the price of the course is $397, $397 for lifetime access. And what you will get with that is, again, everything we just talked about, and so you can compare the prices because it's essentially you're getting four college courses which is 12 hours of a col of college credit and an MBA is about 48 hours so you're essentially getting one-fourth of an MBA from watching um, the you know the content of dr. Winston and so finally that's it that's the pitch and so if you have any questions just uh, you know let us know email us anytime and you can email us at info at excel and yeah you know thanks for watching and really hope to see you in class